everyone. My name is Miss Amarando and I am part of the sixth grade math team. I am here to give you an overview of the sixth grade math curriculum for the coming 2020-21 school year. This year will consist of three learning platforms which will blend harmoniously. They are in-person, blended remote, and remote learning. Um, this is the sixth grade curriculum. And the first unit is number sets. Within number sets, there are subtopics, which include division of whole numbers, adding and subtracting, multiplying, dividing decimals, common factors and multiples, which include greatest common factor, least common multiple, prime factorization, and exponents. We're going to be reviewing and subtracting fractions. We're also going to multiply and divide fractions. It, this will also include positive and negative numbers, absolute value, and ordering numbers, and the coordinate plane. The second unit that we're going to be using are expressions and equations. The subtopics for expressions and equations are writing expressions in words, identifying parts of expressions, evaluating expressions. We're going to be working on distributive property, um, we're going to write expressions to solve real-world mathematical problems. We're going to solve equations using inverse operations. And we're going to be writing and solving and graphing inequalities. Our third unit are, is ratios and proportions. The subtopics for ratios and proportions are writing ratios three different ways and writing for every statement for them. Um, using equivalent ratios and setting up a proportion, um, using unit rate and rate tables, and finding percent using rate. Our grading policy will include tests, which is worth 45% of the grade, classwork worth 15% of the grade, homework worth 15%, projects 15%, and notebooks are worth 10% of the grade. We are looking forward to a mark on a, this journey to a new learning frontier and we hope to see everyone very soon. Thank you. Good morning, IS51 family, and welcome to 7th grade math. My name is Ms. Akinpar, and hopefully I'll be your teacher. This year in 7th grade math, we will be focusing on three priority learning standards. Our first learning standard is the number system. In the number system, we will apply and extend your previous understanding for adding and subtracting integers. Then we will work on um, multiplying and dividing integers. So think positive numbers, negative numbers, and everything in between. Then we're going to work on rational numbers. Those are our fractions and decimals. And with all of those numbers, we will be solving real world and mathematical problems. Our second priority standard will be to um, discuss ratios and proportions. We will extend and develop your previous understanding of ratios and proportions, as well as being able to solve multi-step problems. Don't worry if you don't understand it, that's why we're here to help you, okay? We understand at IS51, and we are all working towards the same goal as to get you ready for math. Then we're gonna be graphing proportional relationships, and we're going to be distinguishing the difference between proportional and non-proportional relationships. Hopefully those words sound familiar to you, but again, if they don't sound familiar to you, don't worry, we got you back here. And our third priority standard is expressions, equations, and inequalities. We will be adding, subtracting, factoring, and expanding linear expressions, and we will apply the rules of math to those um, four things of expressions. Then we're going to use real world and mathematical problems in different forms to explain how quantities are related. Solving real world and mathematical problems using numerical, algebraic expressions, equations, and inequalities. Can't wait to meet you guys. I, I know you'll try your best throughout the school year, and let's hope we all have a great year. Thanks and have a great day. Before we begin, we would like to welcome back all the students, 
especially the class of 2021. On this slide, you will see the math domains and standards for the 8th grade curriculum. The first domain that we are going to focus on is expressions, equations, and inequalities. We're going to focus primarily on laws of exponents, slope, equations, and systems. The second domain that we're going to focus on is functions. Functions is a primarily large unit, so we're going to be spending a lot of time with functions. The last unit we're going to study is geometry, uh, focusing primarily on transformations and angle relationships. As you can see, the 8th grade curriculum is a very rigorous curriculum. However, the 8th grade team is going to spend a lot of time working on the first two domains to assure that the students are well prepared for algebra next year in school. If your child is chosen for algebra, these are the domains that we're going to focus on. I've highlighted this unit, creating equations and raising with equations, because some of you might be concerned that if your child is chosen for algebra, how are we going to bridge the gap between 8th grade and algebra? As a team, we decided that since equations comes up in both, we're going to start with that unit. So once they're transitioned, it will be a nice smooth transition. We'll then study polynomials and rational expressions, and then functions. Different from 8th grade, in algebra, we're going to do linear functions, quadratic functions, and exponential functions. We'll also see some system of equations in there as well as part of the equations unit. Our final standard that we'll be working on will be analyzing data. Now for the 8th grade, we deal with a specific workbook. This workbook is very nice because it allows um, each unit to be broken down based on the question. So what the person who created this book did is they took all the old regions questions from past common core regions and they separated by the unit. So it's pretty nice to go through. We'll order them once we figure out how many students we have. But for now, we're going to be accessing it online. You can go on courseworkbooks.com, the tab that has more, archives, ebooks, and then you'll select Algebra 1 2019 2020. The reason it's an outdated book is because there were no regions last year. So typically, he adds in each region from the years past. But since we didn't have any regions, it'll appear to be outdated to you. So additional resources for algebra if your child is struggling is janemap.org. Now that's a nice website because it includes not just common core questions, but it also includes older questions from non-common core regions. So if your child is struggling and needs some additional resources, they would type in the skill that they're struggling on, and they can practice on the more basic questions first, and then build themselves up into the common core questions. If they'd like to see any old algebra regions, they can access them on nysedregions.org. This year, we will be using Google Classroom as our educational platform. Blended learning students will attend school on designated days and work remotely on days that they are not in school. Remote students will be working home full-time. Both groups will be using Google Classroom to access their assignments, submit work, and find links to attend virtual meetings. If your child is in the algebra program, we'll still go to use a Google Classroom, but they're fortunate enough that their in-person teacher and their remote teacher is the same person. So we'll be accessing our assignments on Google Classroom, but they'll also be joining us on their remote days for Google Meets. Pupil Path. We will also be using Pupil Path this year. However, Pupil Path will only be used to display course schedules and grades. You will not find any assignments on Pupil Path this year like you did so in the spring. On behalf of the 8th grade math team, we just want to wish you a safe and successful year, and we came to see you guys in person.